Today, we'll take a look at five of the world's next-generation battle tanks. From the sleek and deadly KF-51 Panther to the iconic and powerful M1A2 Abrams X, these tanks are leading the way in a race for tank supremacy. Starting at number 5, we've got the Type 99A. This next-generation battle tank is China's most advanced main battle tank, representing a significant leap in the country's tank technology. Developed in the late 1990s, the Type 99A builds upon the earlier Type 99 model, incorporating improved armor, firepower, and mobility. With an estimated unit cost of $2.5 million, the Type 99A is a significant investment in China's military capabilities. The Type 99A features a 125mm smoothbore gun capable of firing advanced ammunition, including armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabot APF-SDS rounds, and anti-tank guided missiles as well. Its modular composite armor and reactive armor provide excellent protection against a variety of threats, including kinetic energy penetrators, chemical energy warheads, and top attack munitions. The tank also boasts advanced optics, fire control systems, and digital communications, enhancing its battlefield effectiveness. The Type 99A's power plant consists of a 1500 horsepower, 12-cylinder diesel engine, providing the tank with a top speed of 80 kilometers per hour and a range of 600 kilometers on internal fuel. The suspension and running gear have been optimized for improved mobility, with the ability to traverse rough terrain and negotiate obstacles with ease. The tank has a crew of three, with the driver located in the front of the hull and the gunner and commander in the turret. The Type 99A measures 10 meters long with the gun forward, 3.7 meters wide, and 2.35 meters tall with a combat weight of 58 metric tons. Since its introduction in the early 2000s, the Type 99A has become the backbone of the People's Liberation Army Ground Forces armored formations. Over 1,200 units have been produced, making it one of the most widely deployed third-generation main battle tanks in the world. The tank has seen action in various military exercises and demonstrations, showcasing its capabilities to both domestic and internal audiences. The Type 99A's advanced features, such as its powerful main gun, robust protection, and enhanced mobility, have made it a formidable opponent on the modern battlefield. As China continues to modernize its armed forces, the Type 99A is expected to play a crucial role in the country's military strategy, providing a potent and reliable main battle tank platform for the foreseeable future. Moving up the list to number 4 is the T-90M ProRev, the newest and most sophisticated version of Russia's esteemed T-90 main battle tank. Introduced in 2020, the T-90M incorporates a host of upgrades that significantly improve its capabilities. With an estimated unit cost of $4.5 million, the T-90M represents a significant investment in Russia's tank modernization efforts. The T-90M features a new turret design with a more powerful 2A-46M5 125mm smoothbore gun capable of firing a variety of advanced ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabot APF-SDS rounds and anti-tank guided missiles. The tank's fire control systems have been enhanced, improving its accuracy and target engagement capabilities. The T-90M is also powered by a more powerful 1,130 horsepower engine, providing improved mobility and a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. The T-90M's protection has been significantly upgraded with the latest Relight Explosive Reactive Armor, or ERA, which provides enhanced protection against tandem charge anti-tank weapons and reduces the penetration of armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabot APF-SDS rounds. 
The tank also features a new multi-channel sighting system, including thermal imaging cameras, that allows for effective day and night operations. The T-90 has been employed in limited numbers to the Russian military, with the majority of the tanks going to the elite guard tank armies. However, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has resulted in significant losses of T-90 tanks, which may impact the production and deployment of the T-90M variant. As of April 2023, at least 18 T-90M tanks have been documented as destroyed in the conflict. At number 3, we have the KF-51 Panther. This new main battle tank, currently under development by the German defense company Rheinmetall, unveiled in 2022, the Panther represents a significant departure from the previous Leopard 2 design, with a focus on increased firepower and protection. With an estimated unit cost of $16 million, the Panther is a significant investment in Germany's future tank capabilities. The Panther features a new two-person turret equipped with an auto-loaded 133mm RH-130L52 smoothbore main gun, a significant upgrade from the standard 120mm gun found on most Western tanks. This new 130mm gun provides over 50% more effective range and lethality compared to the Leopard 2's 120mm cannon. The autoloader allows for a maximum rate of fire of up to 10 rounds per minute, with 20 ready-to-fire rounds stored in two separate magazines. In addition to its powerful main armament, the Panther is equipped with a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and an optional remotely controlled weapon station that can engage low-flying aerial targets such as helicopters and drones. The tank also carries two modular launch pods for Hero 120 loitering munitions, providing non-line-of-sight strike capabilities. The Panther's protection systems are a key focus of its design. It features a welded steel armor hull with composite armor modules over the front arc. Reactive armor modules provide protection against chemical energy threats, while a dedicated top-action protection system defends against incoming missiles and rockets. The tank also incorporates Rheinmetall's active protection system to intercept and destroy incoming threats. With a combat weight of just under 59 metric tons, the Panther is significantly lighter than the latest Leopard 2A7 Plus variant, which weighs over 70 tons. This reduced weight, combined with a 1,475 horsepower diesel engine, provides the Panther with improved mobility and strategic transportability allowing it to fit within the AM OVP 4L tunnel profile without modification. The Panther's digital architecture and advanced electronics are also a key aspect of its design. It features a fully digitized system with integrated battle management and communication capabilities, enabling it to operate as a multi-domain hub on the battlefield. The tank can control and coordinate a range of unmanned aerial and ground vehicles, including onboard and offboard drones and loitering munitions. The KF-51 Panther represents a significant step forward in main battle tank design, combining increased firepower, enhanced protection, and improved mobility with advanced digital capabilities. As Germany and its NATO allies seek to modernize their armored forces, the Panther is poised to become a formidable contender on the future battlefield. Taking the second spot is the Leopard 2A7 Plus. This latest and most advanced variant of the renowned Leopard 2 main battle tank is developed by the German defense consortium KNDS. Introduced in the late 2010s, the Leopard 2A7 Plus incorporates a range of upgrades to improve its protection, firepower, and mobility. With an estimated unit cost of $31 million, the Leopard 2A7 Plus represents a significant investment in Germany's tank modernization efforts. The Leopard 2A7 Plus features enhanced passive and active protection systems, including improved armor and a new countermeasure suite. Its turret and hull are fitted with modular armor packages that provide 360-degree protection against a variety of threats including anti-tank missiles, mines, improvised explosive devices or IEDs, and rocket-propelled grenades. 
The tank is also equipped with a remote-controlled FLW-200 weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher for self-defense. The Leopard 2A7 Plus's primary armament is a 120mm L55A1 smoothbore gun, which has been upgraded to provide greater accuracy and lethality. The tank can fire a range of NATO standard ammunition, including armor-piercing, thin-stabilized, discarding sabot, APF-SDS rounds, and programmable high-explosive rounds capable of engaging targets behind cover or within buildings. The Leopard 2A7 Plus also carries a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun for secondary armament. The tank's fire control and optics systems have been significantly improved, with the commander station featuring a Perry R17A2 stabilized panoramic sight with third generation thermal imaging and laser rangefinder. The gunner station is equipped with an EMES-15 stabilized main sight and Faro Z18 auxiliary telescope. The driver benefits from a combined thermal imager and image intensifier night vision system for improved situational awareness. Mobility is enhanced by the Leopard 2A7 Plus's powerful 1500 horsepower MTU MB873 diesel engine which provides a top speed of 72 kilometers per hour and a range of 450 kilometers. The tank suspension and running gear have been optimized for better stability and power transmission with a new final drive, track, and improved brake system. The Leopard 2A7 Plus has been adopted by several NATO countries, including Germany, Denmark, Hungary, and Qatar. It is considered one of the most capable modern battle tanks in service today, with a combination of firepower, protection, and mobility that make it a formidable force on the modern battlefield. The tank's modular design and continuous improvement program ensure that it will remain a key asset for Western armies in the coming decades. And finally, at number one, we have the M1A2 Abrams X. The latest and most advanced variant of the iconic M1 Abrams main battle tank developed by the United States. Building upon the proven capabilities of the M1 Abrams, the Abrams X incorporates a range of cutting-edge technologies to enhance its performance. With an estimated unit cost of between $8.5 million to $10 million, the Abrams X represents a significant investment in the U.S. Army's armored capabilities. The Abrams X features a new 130mm XM360 main gun, providing increased firepower and the ability to engage targets at longer ranges. This larger caliber cannon can fire a variety of advanced ammunition, including armor-piercing, thin-stabilized, discarding sabot, APF-SDS rounds, and programmable airburst munitions. The tank's fire control system has also been upgraded, improving accuracy and target engagement. The Abram X's protection has been significantly enhanced with the integration of modular composite armor panels and an active protection system to defeat incoming threats. The APS uses radar and electro-optical sensors to detect and intercept incoming anti-tank missiles, rockets, and other projectiles, providing 360-degree coverage for the tank. Mobility has been improved with the installation of a more powerful 1500 horsepower turbine engine and an enhanced suspension system. This allows the Abrams X to achieve a top speed of 45 miles per hour and a range of 265 miles on internal fuel. The tank's most significant advancements lie in its advanced electronics and digital systems. The Abrams X features a state-of-the-art command and control system with improved sensors, communications, and connectivity. This allows the tank to operate seamlessly within a networked battlefield environment, sharing real-time information and coordinating with other platforms. The Abrams X also incorporates artificial intelligence-enabled systems for enhanced target detection, identification, and engagement. These advanced algorithms and machine learning capabilities provide the crew with improved situational awareness and decision-making support. From China's Type 99A to the United States M1A2 Abrams X, these tanks showcase the cutting edge of design, 
incorporating advanced materials, electronics, and systems to enhance their performance on the battlefield. As the global landscape of military power continues to evolve, the development and deployment of these tanks will be crucial, with each platform bringing something unique to the table. The main battle tank remains a vital component of modern military forces, and as nations continue to invest in their improvement, these platforms will play a pivotal role in the defense and projection of power. So, which of these tanks do you believe is the most impressive or important? Let us know in the comments below.